Oh my god, I can't believe I'm telling you guys this. Oh god. I have been reading the book after, like, non-stop for the last few days. It's ridiculous. I love the book so much. I love the movie and now I'm gonna read- And now I'm reading the books, like, <gasps> my heart. Like, it's awesome. It's so great, those books, but... Hey, my little fishies! What is up? It's me, it's Anna, and today... I have a new video for you guys! <laughs> Yeah, I have a super exciting announcement and I'm so happy that I can finally tell you guys because it's all official now. Every Guess now it's official. Can't back out. Can't back out. No. Everything is like everything is well not almost everything is done, but like it's official. <laughs> Guess now it's official. Can't back out. Can't back out. No. Okay. So let me tell you guys what I want to, what the announcement is and why I'm so happy. Okay, so um, the, edu the ed education I follow, nursery or daycare or like um, kindergarten, like with kids, that's the education I follow. And... I got the possibility to do an internship in a different country. C country? In a different country. So, I decided, um, a long time ago it was, it's now May and I think I decided to do this in, I think it was October or December, October or December I think, I don't know exactly anymore but it's around that time. I decided that I wanted to do the foreign internship. <laughs> and where am I gonna do this internship? I'm gonna go to England. England is my city. <laughs> I'm gonna be living in England from the end of August till the end of February F F I said it's so weird till the end of February I can't say that right I'm sorry and it's seven months I think six seven months or something and I'm gonna be living there all on my own without my parents my parents are gonna stay here and I'm gonna be moving out for seven months in a different country all on my own <laughs> I don't think I'm making much sense right now. I think I'm just rambling and telling everything like very disoriented, but okay. Um, yeah, let me just like try to tell it from the beginning or something. I don't know. So as I said, I chose to do the foreign internship like around October, December or something. And I could, uh, I had to fill in a form and in a form I had to put the country I wanted to go to. And I chose England because I have never been in England before and I really wanted to go to England. And in December actually my journey to like get everything ready really begun. Um, in December, I started looking at websites, um, at, at one specific website, I don't know what it's called anymore. And on that website, they had a lot of internships um, listed in England. And I had contacted three internships that looked really wonderful to me. Um, I called two of them. And um, the first one, I that was my first choice to go. I really wanted to go to that one. Good afternoon, first step to nursery. Dana speaking. Yes, hello. Um, you're speaking with Sonne van den Hengel. Um, Sorry. Um, I emailed uh, last week. Uh, I think last Friday I emailed um, an application for an internship uh, for for an internship and I never got an answer um, so I... uh, for a foreign internship I'm from the Netherlands um, who did you email it to? Um, I emailed it to um, wait let me 
uh, get the email. Um, I send um, an application for a foreign internship and I send it to But um, they unfortunately already gave the internship to someone else, so I wasn't able to um, take the internship at their facility. That sounds so formal. <laughs> um, then I tried contacting the second internship I um, chose. But they never answered me, so after a few, I, I think actually after a week I was like, okay, you know what, I just, it's not good for me if I just keep waiting on one, I have to find something else. Wait, no, I actually waited on that one for like three months, I, no, two months, I actually waited on that one for two months. And then in February, I, why can't I say February like a normal person, I'm sorry. And then in February, 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 Jesus, I'm not even gonna try it. And um, then in the second month of 2019, let's just do it like that. What the heck? Um, I decided to contact a, another uh, another internship because I really wanted a place in England and I knew that if I didn't do it now, it would like not happen and I would like stay home because it didn't work and yeah so I decided to contact the third internship that I chose so you're not supposed to put this in this vlog of today today it is Thursday February 21st um, but you're going you don't put this in this vlog but post this in the video a lot later so today it is February 21st and I've been trying to get a internship in England for like four months I think it is now. February 10th I got an email saying that they have a place for me at their nursery. So that means that if I have everything ready, if I figured out everything, if I filled in all the forms and if I found a living space, then I'm gonna go to England to live on my own for seven freaking months for an internship. We, um, like, um, discussed everything through the emails and I filled in everything on a form I gave it to the people at my school that needed it and then they um, gave me a free well yeah it was free they gave me a free um, like education on the English language like it sounds really weird how I say it but um, they offered me a um, a course to follow to uh, get on a high level, of, a higher level of English. Yeah, everything with at my school was figured out. They knew I was gonna go. They knew when I was gonna go, when I was gonna leave, when my internship would start, and when I was gonna come back. So um, I think it was Thursday. Yeah, it was Thursday that I sent every detail I had to my mentor. Men, men, yeah, mentor. Mento? And I'm also a mento for kids. <laughs> a mento? You know, a mento, a role model. It's not mento, that's a candy. So, um, that she could like, um, 
make a contract so I could uh, screen it and send it to them and they could sign it and send it back and I could sign it and stuff like uh, that and the thing was um, like it was spring break and I have been looking at accommodations to stay for the time I was there but I didn't get any like further because I had to already pay the first month of rent and I had to put down um, some service costs and it was really expensive well at least for me I didn't have the money to pay that so I was like what in the world do I do now so um, actually from February to the end of April the beginning of May I was looking like really like a lot to like places in the I can say the town I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna go to Wolverhampton that's like I think two hours away with a train from London so I'm probably gonna go to London a few times <laughs> but um, yeah I was looking at places to live in Wolverhampton and um, I found a lot of places but the thing is that I didn't my max amount of money I could spend on a house wasn't that much well maybe it is I don't know since I've never owned a place of my own it's gonna be the first time but yeah I've been looking intensely at houses but I I found one accommodation that's like what that looked really good to me the only thing was is that it didn't have a living room and it was only a kitchen, a bathroom and a bedroom. So I was like, okay, I like it, but the thing is, I'm not sure about not having a living room, you know? But I still really liked the place and yeah, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna look a little bit more, like maybe there are some other options I can try, like Maybe there are another, uh, more houses and yeah, I kept looking. Also, I had to look for the um, time it took me to get from my home I would stay and to my internship because I don't own a car, I don't have my driver's license yet. But I don't own a car, I'm probably, probably, I'm probably not gonna own a car for like a few years I think because cars are expensive. And I don't have a scooter or something. I really want one, but the thing is I can't take that to England with me, so that sucks. But um, the only option slash possibility for me is was to, or is I mean, to take my bicycle with me to England so I can move around on my bicycle. I want to ride my bicycle. Or that I can go there and buy like a cheap um, hand-me-down bicycle, you know? But yeah, I had to look at that too. Like it couldn't be that far away from the internship. And also I live very close to the city and there are two Starbucks's. So it's like five minutes on my bicycle to Starbucks. So that's great. Um, <laughs> yeah, woo! But after a while I found a few homes well homes apartments homes whatever I found a few things that like looked really good to me so we put down well it's not a deposit we paid for the first month rent of a uh, apartment I saw that I really liked um, and within two days I got an email back saying that the apartment wasn't available anymore but they did send me a lot of links with like houses and apartments and stuff in which I could uh, like stay when I was there. So they were they were really nice. They helped me a lot. Sent me a few links of apartments. I looked at them. They were all really nice. But the thing is that they were above my pricing range. So I was like, okay, they're really great, but they're too expensive, so I can pay them. And one of those. Um, links he sent me was like um, a link to a apartment I looked at before um, it was like um, it's not exactly the same like um, I it was like very similar to the one apartment I looked in the beginning I looked at in the beginning um, like um, a bedroom kitchen bathroom no living room 
but this time the bedroom was a bit bigger and there was a bigger bed so it was like 25 pounds more expensive i think but that was still 25 pounds above 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 my pricing range so i was like okay um i like that one but it's above my pricing range and i can't pay it but this and i sent in the link this is um, one of the apartments i looked at first and it's in my pricing range like it's the exact amount so it's like the same of the link uh, it's like very similar to the link you sent me but it's cheaper i said so i sent that back and then um a few days ago i got an email back i just got a notification that i got an email from um the accommodation i want to rent in england and i wanted to like read it through like on camera so you guys could like see my reaction and oh god i'm so nervous hey wait let me grab my email let's see if i can open it since my wi-fi just sucks right here the email is right here with the yellow dot that's the email okay <laughs> i'm scared to open it Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> I have a home in England. Oh my god. I'm almost actually crying. What the heck? Why am I crying about this? <laughs> oh my god, you guys, it's official. It's now official. saying that the owner of the apartment agreed to um, letting me live there so I read the email and I was really really excited <laughs> of course like I had a I, I now have a place to live so yeah that's actually everything like I had to tell you guys that's where I am now um, I have a place to live but I have to like pay some money when i get there because the place i first booked was cheaper but that's not a problem it's gonna be fine yeah that's the story <laughs> so basically i'm gonna be living in england for seven months i think on my own in my own apartment and i am so incredibly excited to go there like you guys have no idea like it's May now and I'm leaving like uh, at the end of August and I'm like literally counting down the weeks in which I'm gonna leave for England like it's 15 yeah it's no 16 it's like 15 weeks and six days so I'm really counting it down but I'm super excited that I finally told you guys also um I knew that I was gonna go to England because my internship like worked out and stuff so I knew I was gonna go to England so in a few posts of my Instagram I put some hints in um, the pictures But yeah, those were actually the hints or the few hints I gave you guys. But I can't believe I told you and yeah, um, I'm super excited to like embark on this journey and I'm excited that I have you guys to come along with me on this journey and I'm for sure gonna vlog and make videos like the time I'm there like for sure like 100% I was like even before I had my internship I was when I'm there I'm gonna be like vlogging I'm gonna be making videos and it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be great and there's a dog barking and it sucks because it's ruining my video but it doesn't matter but I was so excited I was like I'm gonna film I'm gonna vlog I'm gonna do everything I'm gonna like make sure that people know i have such a good time in england and know that i spent like a few months in england and 
yeah, that was like one thing I was so excited about. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna go to England and I can film, I can film and I'm gonna go to England so I can also like look back on it and people can like come with me on my journey and you guys have no idea how excited I am that I have you guys to take me with me. So, yeah. And I hope you guys are happy for me and that you guys will follow me. I mean that you guys will follow my journey when I'm there and that you guys will enjoy the videos and vlogs I'm gonna make in England. And yeah, I so hope, I so hope, <laughs> I so hope I'm gonna have a great time there and I can't wait to go. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. And then you guys will see me in one of my next videos. Um, yeah. Bye, little fishies.